Hey, hey, everyone. It is Jane A from Your Way Weight Loss coming at you. Hello, Alicia. Well, hello, friend. <sighs> it's mid-November. Um, it's actually past mid-November. It's our staff party this weekend or next weekend, whatever. This weekend. I'm excited. Me too. Gifts are ready. Everything's ready. Everything's, yeah. I'm like She's on it. She's on it. I am on it. All um, I have to do is make a cake. Yes. And as so many dips. I cannot wait all to make dip. all the dips and we'll ask Janice shit. Janice is just uh, flying in from Montreal. She might not be able to make her nachos. We'll have to buy it for them. We can probably her. make n- nachos. Yeah. You think so? Yeah. On Friday is my soul studio staff party and I'm definitely making those nachos. It's just a weekend of staff parties and dips. That's maybe your exactly. favorite part about a party. I mean, you love talking to other people, but you also really love dip. <laughs> yeah. And I, I will bring my own dip. Thank you very much. Because I feel like, oh, I can't wait for all the people to want my recipe for my dips. Oh, tell us. Tell us how you make your shrimp dip. So good. All right, you guys. So you buy a big carton, no, contenant of cream cheese. And then a big contenant of sour cream. So you can do, I usually do a, a small contenant and a big, like a small contenant of cream cheese. But you could do like the same size. That's the base, you guys. Mix that together. That is the base. On top of that, you put cocktail sauce. On top of that, you cut some green peppers and some cheese and some shrimp. Done. Boom. Boom. I'm bringing that this Saturday. We're recording early, but I'm bringing that this Saturday to Jillian's. Did you see? Amazing. I haven't asked Jillian if she wants me to bring something. Hmm. Uh, Babysitter's coming at six and we're going to your house before. Perfect like a good 15 20 minutes just to say hi no kids i mean i'll be like hello jeff and i when we don't have the kids here we go Ayo. and then he answers Ayo. just like a yelling in the house they aren't you guys cute oh sure we're just so excited when they're not here we're like oh yes oh do you do you hear the the, the there's no one no other humans oh my goodness um, yeah my parents are taking the kids for for two sleeps oh it's a good time yeah. She must be planning those freaking uh, uh, crafts. Everything is planned. What they're eating, what they're doing, every every last step, every last second. There's an Excel spreadsheet, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Mm-mm-mm. Okay, so I did this live on the topic that you came up with. Like, anyways, I was just so good. I just, I just, I would talk about this all the time. I feel like we we're getting closer and closer to our message being so much clear. Um. So you guys, you know how we always say that you can eat anything and lose weight and it gets the internet fired up. They, they, they just like can't handle it. It's like, well, that's what I'm doing. I'm eating anything and I'm not losing weight. So no, I don't believe that I can eat anything. Now, wait, 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 wait. We didn't say that you can eat everything and lose weight, but saying that you can eat anything, that anything can coexist with weight loss is definitely true. And you deserve that message. And, you know, sometimes I think like I was like scrolling our, our Instagram and I was like, we're really like putting that message out there, which I think is really important. And then sometimes you're like, oh, do they need, do they need another message? And then I'm like, reminder, Alicia, no one needs you to tell them to eat vegetables and to eat fruit and to move their body and to get sleep and to go for a walk. Like absolutely no one needs us to tell them that. No, that's been covered. That has been covered and society is still struggling with obesity, Alicia. So, you know, like it's no secret that definitely um, vegetables and fruits are good for you and that like you, um, that protein is a great macronutrient and that like, you know, all these things, but I feel in that you should drink water and that you should sleep and that you should get off your phone. And that like, you know, um, I think we all know these things, but I think that what's missing, the missing piece is that we're not giving permission to humans to create their own life, honestly. And in my mind, that's where I'm like, you know, obviously you guys know that I despise, uh, meal plans and the reason for it, I'm like, why do you think like, why, why would you want someone telling you what to eat when you can eat anything and lose weight? That's, that was always the thing for me. Like, why do you need someone? Why do you think you still need someone to tell you what to eat for weight loss when you can eat anything and lose weight? Like in my mind, you can't, you just create your own menu your own schedule your own you know and 
next thing is you've done this so many times and clearly it's not the answer to have someone else tell you to eat fish and broccoli for supper. Like that's not the missing piece, right? And so I think it's that piece that people still do not believe that every every type of food can coexist with weight loss. I, I totally agree. It's they people are still struggling with accepting. And first of all, they they step one is to accept that everything can literally any food can be a part of weight loss. Yeah. But then the second piece that I think really gets to people is they're like, but I couldn't control myself. Mm. So then the, when we tell them eventually, when you work on your relationship with food, you can live your life with chips, chocolate, candy in your home and not eat everything. I think it's that they, they don't believe us it's possible. So they still go back to the restricting and that cycle just continues. And they're actually reinforcing the thoughts that are actually causing them to not be able to have that food yeah. in their home. You're right. Because the reason why you can't control yourself is because, well, first of all, in my mind, I'm like, you, you just, you have the food in your home right now. Are you like eating it all the time, all the, every day? Well, no, I'm not on a weight loss journey. Okay. So then the real, I really truly believe that the real issue is that we think that those foods cannot coexist with weight loss. Therefore, if we were to say you can have them, but we say, you say that all the time, like you're, you have, if you're not on a weight loss journey, you're allowing yourself to have them all the time. Are you freaking eating all the things all the time? I, I don't think so. I don't think you are. Now I do think that when you want to lose weight, you like almost shift so crazy what your values are and what you're doing that you think all of a sudden I'll, I'm going to want all of them. I'm like, but no, you had access to them before and you weren't like eating a bajillion of them every single day. So it's like, it's like when you haven't thought of minerals and vitamins for the past 20 years and you're like, but I wasn't trying to lose weight. Now that I'm trying to lose weight, I should focus on minerals and, and vitamins. <laughs> and I'm like, Let's just focus on consuming a little less because you want to feel comfortable walking up the stairs and like vitamins and minerals are going to take care of themselves just because you, you just lived 20 years of your life without focusing on vitamins and minerals. And all of a sudden you're interested, just like you didn't get on a scale for 20 years. And all of a sudden you're getting on four times a day because you want weight loss. Like you get what I mean. And you think that's the answer. Like, it's just very interesting. And we switch, we have literally, it's like life weight loss. Like if you could see me on YouTube right now, I'm like, life is one side, weight loss is another. And you're like, it's like, it's just like weird world, this other life that you have this Island that you have to be on in order to create weight loss. And that's what you've always felt like every time that you were told how to lose weight. It was like this other, like just fake, just fakeness. Okay. Now that you're trying to lose weight, we're all focused on proteins, every meal and minerals and vitamins, three liters of water, like literally creating this perfect avatar human that is not you and that you will not do, lo. like you're not going to do this forever. You might do it for two seconds, two minutes. And I, and I think for most people, you know, I have this conversation with people where they're like, oh, I want to start drinking less, or I want to start going to the gym, or I want this. And then when I ask them a little bit more, they actually don't want that. They want weight loss. Yes, which is fine. You're allowed to want weight loss, but don't join the gym because you want weight loss. You're going to be disappointed. You're going to be very disappointed, actually. No, I see what you're saying. Like they say, like, I know I want to, I want this. I want to stop drinking wine. I'm like, why? Well, because then I'll have less calories and then I'll be able to lose weight. I'm like, so what you really want is weight loss. And then I say to them, like, if I said you could keep this wine, and lose weight, would you? And they're like, well, yeah. Like, well, that, like, How about we focus on the behaviors and actions and habits that you don't want to keep? Like yeah. crushing crackers in your pantry, like yeah. eating way past hunger on Saturday. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, why are we always going for the things we love the most? Yeah. We? Well, because those things, Alicia, those things did not, were never a part of the list. They were never a part. They never made the cut. Alcohol never makes the cut on the island and avatar you. Um, you know, it, it, 
eating at night doesn't make the cut. Um, eating the Halloween, Halloween treats, eating the cheesecake, eating like those certain foods never made the cut on the meal plan. They were never there. They were never a part of it. And if they were, they were on your cheat day. Like, I think that people don't recognize the damage that this has damage. done, like damage. I'm sorry. Like society is damaged right now because if there's one message that society needs right now is that and you can eat anything and lose weight. So it's time to stop the comments like, oh, thought you were trying to lose weight. Why are you eating ice cream? Literally, society thinks that if you're eating ice cream, you're no longer trying to lose weight. This just is just sad to me. Like, and remember, what does that have to realize, do with anything? Yeah, realize, guys, that again, like we said, eating anything is different than eating everything. Yeah. So focus on the anything part and not the everything part, but what's causing you to think you will eat everything or what's causing you to actually eat everything, eat everything. after you've restricted yourself is the way that you currently think about food from years and years and years of that yo-yo restriction, certain rules that you were following, suffering through hunger for weight loss. All of that is why you are struggling with your relationship with food. Yeah. Um, I love your analogy when you talked about the store, the free mm -hmm. store. Can we talk mm -hmm. about the free store? Let's talk about the free store. Okay. So I was thinking you guys, because I know that like the analogy of the money and the behaviors, sometimes it's hard to, when you haven't experienced something, it's hard to guess what a behavior would be like. You're like, uh, this is why it triggers people. They're like, but I'm going to eat all the things. I'm like, how about we try it and see how we behave and see how we re react to that freedom. So I was thinking about what if, if I told you that this to this store was invented where everything was free all the time, it never goes away every single day. The shelf are stocked and you can go in this store and get whatever you want anytime, every single day. At first, you might be like, I'm going to grab things that I don't need. It's just because it's the excitement of just a free store. How exciting is this? Would you agree with me that after a while, you would probably stop at the store way less because you just need, you just had the things you needed. You don't always need a McDonald's Big Mac. Like, you know what I mean? Like, so it's just an example, but you don't always need, if you, if I gave you free range of eating whatever you wanted, I can almost guarantee that you would not always eat all the things, but you don't trust me because you don't trust yourself. So let's pretend the store is free. After a while, you guys, you might stop at the store once a week. Uh, just for like the necessities or just because you're like, Ooh, I'm going out here. So I'm going to go and stop and, and get a new dress or I'm going to, you know, but you would not stop at the store just to bulk up on free shit. Just because after a while you would have what you need and you would start really looking into the necessities of what you actually need. And you're out of do, I think most would agree with me. I think so too. And you know, why do we have to change the analogy from food to something else? Because we are so emotional when it comes to food. We have so many emotions attached to food that we struggle to think rationally because mm -hmm. our, our thoughts are clouded by all of our emotions, our attachment of worthiness and drama. And I'm a bad person. If I do this, it uh, clouds it when it comes to food. But when we think of it more rationally, it's like a store and like money and like things. It's like, oh yeah, that makes sense. And I almost want to blame a lot of that to lack of confidence in our ability to control ourselves with, with freedom when it comes to food. And the reason why we are lacking this confidence, Alicia, is because of the years of the diet industry, literally telling us that we are not capable of doing that. I know. Because they literally said to us here, oh, you're here for weight loss. This is how you lose weight. So throw everything in your pantry, throw everything that you know, and you love. This is how you create weight loss by eating these foods, by not eating these foods. And so we literally don't trust ourselves to have full free range of whatever and create weight loss. Because the minute we give ourselves free range, all we've ever done is either gain weight because it's either we're on a diet 
or we're not. It's either we're losing weight or we're a miss because we cannot, we do not have confidence. They've taken the confidence away from us. When I look at people that do feel so confident in just making choices, they have not been a part of the diet industry like we have. It's that simple. And, and you know what, that's even when I find it really frustrating when I see people helping other people lose weight who have actually never struggled with their relationship with food. And yes, they are going to teach you or show you or give you rules that will make you lose weight. No problem. And you know what, that's actually what you signed up for when you hired those people, but you are getting weight loss alone. And for most of us and for our audience, most of them, they need more than a prescription for weight loss. Yeah. They need to heal their relationship with food. They need to get over the diet trauma. And honestly, guys, it's not sexy, but you need to go into the Your Way Weight Loss experience with this is different. I'm going to do this different. I'm going to learn about myself. I'm not going to give up this time. I'm going to prioritize my happiness. I'm not going to feel deprived. And Mm -hmm. I will learn how to exist dip and weight loss or dip and my like life. Yes, that's magical, you guys. Yeah, that's like, that's our service. Our that's service, when your life is changed, not just the yeah. size of your ass. That's when we've changed your life. Yeah, no, absolutely. Our service is literally to give you your power back when it comes to your food choices. And so that's the service we want to provide here. Our, I could be like, hey, this is nutrient dense and this is might make you feel fuller. And this is, you know, or might make you feel, give you more energy and blah, 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 blah. But at the end of the day, though, you need to be like, we want to give you the power to make those choices again, because we know that that's what you need to heal in order to find your way. So as much as I'm sure that people that are like, no, no, when I'm on a meal plan, I love what I eat. And this food is good for me. And this is whatever. And I see what you're saying, but that is not the service we want to provide women. We want to provide women the choice and the freedom to make those choices on their own. And I want to remind you guys that it's not about what's on your meal plan. When I see meal plans, I think that looks delicious. I would love that. That, that is amazing. It's not about what's on your meal plan. It's what's not on your meal plan that will cause you drama. I said this in my stories yesterday. I said, you know, there are two things that we need to talk about when it comes to meal plan. Thing one is that it puts those foods without you even knowing, realizing it puts those foods on a pedestal and you you uh, link those foods with weight loss. You link the sweet potato with weight loss. You link egg whites with weight loss. And because Oreos are not a part of the list, you link Oreos to not weight loss. You don't know you're doing it, but you're doing it. And it's time for you to know that Oreos can coexist with weight loss and sweet potato can coexist with weight loss. But please know there's nothing special about sweet potatoes, okay? And sweet potatoes can coexist with weight gain. Weight gain. I saw this um, TikTok and it was like someone that duetted a TikTok or something, or I don't know where I saw it anyways, but it was like, did you know that you can make um, sweet potato cinnamon rolls? And the woman was sitting there. She was like, "Mm -mm." she was like, thank you, but I'll never (laughs) do that. (laughs) And it almost makes me angry when we take vegetables and try and make them seem like extra amazing. Like literally a, a sweet potato cinnamon bun would still have like, so many calories of calories. And we put these foods on a pedestal and then sometimes we switch to eating them and then we don't lose weight and then we're frustrated. And then we think we're broken. And it's like, just eat an effing cinnamon bun. Yeah, Like there are some things you guys that there's just no substitute for (laughs) like cinnamon, like cinnamon cinnamon is a cinnamon bun. If you switch it to another thing, it's no longer a cinnamon bun. Okay. Um, wait, so I was being, um, interviewed by a journalist for, would you eat a donut a day? And she was new to your weight loss, did not know what your weight loss was. This is why the interview was seven hours. But basically I needed to explain what we did and why we're eating Tim Hortons for a month and like, what's our message and what's our purpose and what's our service at your weight loss. And I was like, people deserve to know that they can eat Oreos and lose weight. Okay. And she's like, yeah, but like, when do you have the conversation with them that Oreos are bad? And that, you know, at one point it might be time to switch the way they're eating to healthier nutrient dense foods, because yes, Oreos can help them lose weight, but it's not good for you. And I'm like, okay, first of all, first of all, 
let's, let's have the conversation between like a, someone that's 300 pounds and gets to 250. That 50 pound of less fat on their body, I could not care less if they didn't eat it Oreos or whatever. 50 pounds less of body fat on your body is is way healthier. It doesn't make it, it like, I let, let them eat Tim Hortons and lose 50 pounds for God's sake, okay? let it's And I said to her, that's none of my business. That's not your business. That's not my business. That's what I told her. It's not my responsibility to tell someone, hey, you should start eating vegetables now, or that's not nutrient dense. That person needs to understand. They're going to realize, this is what I said, told her. They're going to realize after a while that eating uh, only Oreos and losing weight is not great. Just like eating only Tim Hortons and losing weight was not great, you guys. So they need to make that decision on their own. But And they and, will. And I, and they, they will. will. And that's what I said to her. And I they said, will. and they will, they will, the human being will stop eating Tim Hortons after a while and be like, I'm going to go and find something that's more filling uh, because they're naturally going to do that. That's not the message society needs to hear right now. The message that's been hidden from us is that we can eat Oreos and lose weight. We can eat Tim Hortons and lose weight. We can eat Big Mats and lose weight. We can eat dip and lose weight. That is the message that has not been said enough. The message of vegetables, like we said at the beginning of this podcast, vegetables, walking, eating, drinking water, that's been said that people know this, but the and, message and that hasn't helped society is that we can't eat anything and lose weight. And, and like, again, like I could give you the most perfect, literally yeah. the the perfect amount of vitamins Three and dense, it. yes. And for you, that is like the optimizing physical health. Okay. You're not going to stick with it. So it doesn't even matter what I tell you would be better if we're just looking at it from the perspective of better as like physical health, Yeah, you're not going to stick with it because you don't like it or it doesn't align with your values or your resources yeah. or your time. So like, yeah. we just need to allow people to be a little bit more human. And yes. I really hate the word health. I mean, how annoying are we and labels, but like, who were you to say that? Like, you can't say that's not healthy if someone eats two Oreos. Like what, where's the line? Like health is so much more complicated than what we put in our bodies. Exactly. Where's the line? Like the 300, you know, when you're 300 pounds, is that healthy? You know, would that be considered health or not? So it's really important to recognize like, what is health? What is it? Is it a certain like amount of body fat? Is it, is it how you're eating? Because tons of people will say like, Yes, but at least I'm like eating all nutrient dense foods, but there is, you know, there are consequences to weighing three, like I'm just saying a random number to having a lot of body fat on yeah. your body. Okay. Um, and so I think that like, that's where we need to draw the line and and we haven't been able to be human to have a burle and still be considered healthy or, you know what I mean? And like, it's just a burle is a role, you know, it's like, we have a certain look, this is what is healthy, but then that person is like, really struggling with mental health and like, you know, so it's so, it's such a perception. Everything's a perception, you guys. So even the human you're talking to has a perception of what health should be like because of their baggage and their experience and their background and all of it. It's like when people meet me, you're the donut girl, you're the lobster roll girl, you're the fitness girl, you're the workout girl, like because of the spin, you're the spinning, you're the weight loss, you're the, like, it just depends on what you saw, what you see. And then I'm like, I can be the donut girl. I can be the lobster roll girl. I can be, it's very interesting to me how like donut girl or fitness girl. So this, this guy I met yesterday was like, Hey, it's the fitness girl. And I'm like, I've been called so many things could be the donut girl. He goes, like, those two things don't exist. Like those two things are very different. He said, and I'm like, but they Curious. very much. Yeah. But then I said, but they very much describe me. <laughs> right. Like fitness. Sure. I can be the fitness girl. I can be the donut girl. I, I can do both. He goes, Oh, but those two things are very different. And I'm like, I can be, I can be both. Yeah. I can be both. So guys, yeah. remember that when you're hearing us say you can eat anything and lose weight, we don't mean you can eat everything and lose weight. And also I want to challenge your thoughts as to if you did have access to everything, would you really eat everything every single day? every single meal? Or do you think eventually you would learn to you eat what you needed? Yeah. Because I feel like at the end of the day, you did come in saying, I want to lose weight. 
Yeah. So you have, you know, that there's intentional effort behind creating that deficit. So when you have free range on, I can create it as I want. I truly believe that you will not eat everything. You're only eating everything because you just ate nothing. Like, you know what I mean? That's why. So when, once you're like, okay, I know that I can eat anything. I also know that I can eat probably more than I think I can eat in the past. I've been put on this massive diet. Like there's a lot, like weight loss is very complex, you guys. And that's what our course does. Like it really, it really spreads it open and is like, okay, we're going to talk about calorie deficit. We're going to talk about your habits. We're going to talk about your happiness. We're going to talk about your values. Like it really takes weight loss and like spreads it open. And like there, it's very complex. And that's why it takes a long time to figure out your way, but you're doing it in a way that you've never thought possible. Just FYI, that is what your weight loss gives you. Our service is very different. It allows you to create your own way to lose weight. And so that's why when Alicia says like, I'm challenging your thoughts, it's so well said, like you need to challenge your thoughts because your current thoughts are only allowing you to diet. And I love what you said. If you guys have ever seen yourself eating like a total asshole on the Saturday during your cheat day, it's probably because you just ate nothing Monday yeah. to Friday and you yeah, were not you didn't happy give yourself free range though. and you were deprived. So mm. don't think that that's what you're going to do. See, cause that's your experience of having, being able to eat anything. Cause on your cheat day, you can eat anything. Ev well, ev and it's really, everything. and it turns into everything. You're right. But if you didn't deprive yourself for days, yeah. weeks, and months before you're, you're not going to eat everything. I like that. If your cheat day turns into an everything, you need to look into that, you guys, because you're you're not allowing yourself anything during the week. So the minute you do give yourself the the value the or the freedom of anything, you go everything. Everything. Ooh. Yeah, we're gonna finish with that. You really deserve to be a part of your weight loss. If this like speaks to you and like, man, like I, I see what they're saying, it makes sense to me. I still don't know how. Do you know how many people say that to us, Leash? And it's a little I know. Bit frustrating. We love you, but like it is frustrating because you're like, okay, I'm listening. I believe you, it makes sense, but how? I'm like, that is our service. Come on in and see how it uh how it's not in an audio message, no. though. <laughs> like how to do that is an experience. It's intentionally trying to do it uh, and to figuring it out. So we're just telling you on social media, this is our service. This is our thought process. You like it. Now you have to do how. Um, so the free trial is on you guys. You deserve to try. Like, that's why we do the free trial. We know that there's a lot of you like creeping, 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 creeping. The minute we give the free trial, it's yeah, like your moment of like, okay, I'm going to be in on the inside for 10 days. If we have one advice is please take advantage of those 10 days. Don't just like stay on the sidelines, take full advantage, watch all the videos, talk to team, take advantage of our service um, yeah. so that you can see the value of it. And there's only about like a week, a little over a week left guys to take yeah. advantage and to sign up for the free trial. Um, yeah. it starts 10 days from whenever you sign up, you get 10 days. Um, and this is going away. We only do this twice, you know, a couple times a year. So this won't be back until 2023. So it's an amazing yeah. opportunity to get a little look onto the inside. Yeah. All right, everyone have a great day. See ya.